After three record floods along the Merrimack River since 2015, the Army Corps of Engineers is out with the plan to reduce the damage from flooding in the future. And Russell Kinsall is live in Eureka where he's getting a reaction from businesses and finding some opposition. Russell. Yeah, Corey, right now the only concern here in downtown Eureka about water is how much of the frozen kind, snow, they're going to get this week. The Army Corps of Engineers has come up with a variety pack, if you will, of ways that a city in their own time, on their own dime, can take those steps to reduce the amount of damage the next time there's flooding. Downtown Eureka is a great place to own a business. Being in a floodplain, they hope for the best but no, they have to have a plan for the worst. Hopefully we see the flood come in and we can sandbag it. And if the water does come in, we try to just get everything high enough so that it doesn't get hit with the water. The Corps of Engineers has come out with suggestions for how to lessen the damage during flooding for the 942 homes and businesses in the 100-year floodplain. So we offer several uh, suggestions and options with cost estimates. But no doubt about it that the individual and plus the community need to make those hard decisions. The suggestions are color coded and laid out on a map. In Pacific, 27 red dots are for the 27 homes recommended for buyout. It's not a new idea. The city's been working on that plan using federal and state funding since 2018. In two communities, the Corps suggested relocating trailer parks, like the Starling Community Trailer Courts at Arnold. That got an immediate negative response. It would be very hard if the individual homeowners have to, you know, pay out of their own pocket. The Corps is also suggesting elevating some homes above the 100-year flood level and recommending ways to flood-proof structures. I think it's a good plan. I, I think the plan itself is honestly... Uh, some things that our city has been doing for quite some time. There are specific recommendations for each community, but it's up to the property owners and each community to decide what to do and to pay for it. It's probably not gonna be done all at once, but it can be done in bite-sized increments. When it comes to flood proofing, what they're talking about is things like taking electric outlets that are down low and rewiring them so that they're up higher. Taking your utilities that are in the basement, your furnace that has been ruined a couple of times from flooding in the basement, move it up to a higher level. Things like that that could reduce the amount of damage that you have. Now, the uh, Army Corps of Engineers is having another public hearing to hear explain this and to get uh, input from the community. That's coming up this Wednesday at the Arnold City Hall. It runs from 6 to 8 p.m. Live in Eureka, Russell Kinsall, News 4.